Um, on the struggle, he struggled immediately. As soon as saw he that. Down, I saw that. He couldn't push back. Uh, he did not stop for a good while. He whined about it. Then he did stop, but immediately started struggling again. Not for as long. Yeah. Then he did stop and he looked at me like, seriously? <laughs> Then he left because I told you I said. But he didn't leave because he was like mad. He was just like, this is really not. This is dumb. This is so stupid. I think <laughs> I'm not sure. I, for one thing, I don't think I had any value to him whatsoever. He doesn't know me. He doesn't really like me. And now I'm doing something that he doesn't think is all that. And so he's like, just leave. <laughs> but the fact he wouldn't come back to me almost makes me feel like he's a little bit of pressure over him. That was discretion. And he, well, every time when I tell you, I say, hey, shake it off, that's why I tell you that thing right now. Because shaking it off is a relief from stress. So if, it, if you do something and then shake it off, that's a relief from a little something that's stressful. So that's what we do. But anyway, yeah, so a little stress on there. I feel that mess. Okay, so let's see what happens. Oh, wait. Mom. <laughs> You're a pretty good sport. We won't be doing that. You won't be doing it for that. Yeah. They're all been kind of, kind of consistently not wanting me to do this. Oh, Ronald. Do you remember Rita? Rita screamed at the top of her lungs. <laughs> Look yeah, at those rears. Even because he left and we were there and Aaron wasn't there. So I, don't, I think if nobody was there, he still would leave. Probably, yeah. Because he did, he's done that the whole time. He's the one that explores the most. Oh, yeah. He goes the farthest away yeah, and he yeah. just hangs by himself. The puppy, I would take them, put them in a space. Oh, we could do it in there. Actually, we'll be doing a lot of stuff. We could do it in there and see who comes back in front. I bet you he would be the last one to come back unless he followed one of the other puppies back. Yep, you got it. Yeah. Okay, you got it. So he's pretty
so he's pretty persistent about this because it's very it's very right right if it was just laying there i think he might play with it a little bit and he does okay, okay. Like it. yeah he's a nice type guy yeah okay little buddy come over here okay <laughs> all right look at this it's the cock ball okay let's see okay. if we don't have anybody stop the pig or, well, he should be empty now. Or, right, or he kept picking it with his foot. So let's have a regular test here. Oh my gosh, I know. Look at you. There you go. Readily chases it, slides in. It keeps Four. going. <laughs> <laughs> I already did that once. But then he came back to you. Okay, we gotta do it again because I don't do that. <laughs> Why'd you come back to me? <laughs> <laughs> Lucy does that. Really? Lucy does that. Yep. After he goes, So I think it was a fluke that he came back to me. I think. <laughs> I thought he had another toy. He might have. I think that's what he thought. Because that he did. He has not done that the entire time. So I think you know. I mean, he's a really nice puppy. Very confident, and he's super cute. And I think he probably has really good structure. I don't know. Yeah, they, everyone, looks, I can't fault them. Yeah, he looks really, really nice. But the the part that's going to give somebody some work is the independence. Yeah. He's really, really independent. But that said, he likes toys, and I think he really likes food as well. Yes, he does. Because he was smelling like. Yeah, I did back him into this when I was in class, but there's little pieces of crumbs around. So I think that um, I think his food drive is there, and he obviously has good toy drive, and he's very playful. He wants to chase the ball. So whoever gets him has to realize that he's they're going to have to really work with him to build a lot of value for the stuff they have in themselves. Right. Okay. Or he won't need it. Yeah. He will. He doesn't need anybody. He can live his own life. Yeah. As long as he has all the stuff. <laughs> but you know, my first board club. Really? And I think, you know, as far as work ethic, um, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell work ethic. At this age, I kind of judge it by how much they will engage with stuff. Um, I mean, following is not the same thing. That goes with the visibility, I think. Which I think, it wasn't that he didn't want to follow me, but again, he's independent. So he's more interested in all this other stuff. If he knew me, and as I did stuff with him, I made stuff highly reinforcing for him to do it, then he's going to be more good. Mm -hmm. But he's not going to do stuff because you want him to do it. Yeah. He's that kind of dog. But my first quarter project was like this. Super duper independent, high work ethic, high value for reinforcement. He was my first option. But he was, it was a tough dog. He was tough. I wish we had done this with Justice because he was a really difficult dog to train. Yeah. And I'm it wondering if he wasn't. One of the independent. To see, Rita can be like that as well. Yeah. I mean, she's like, "What's in it for me?" She doesn't say, "Oh, what did you want?" She goes, "What's in it for me?" Mm -hmm. So I mean, to me, it, it doesn't matter because because I still need to work with the dog. But if I am expecting my dog to do something because they like me, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> not with this dog. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna. They're not gonna go. Oh, what did you want to do today? I'm in that. <coughs> yeah. He's like, "Can't work." They want to play. I'm suppressing me already. I don't need my own. I'm suppressed. I feel suppressed. Right? Because I have my own agenda. <laughs> He's so cute. I know. He's like really cute. I love the. I love the. Oh face. my god. Hi. Oh my gosh. So you think his ears are going to stay failing? Hard to tell. Everybody else's ears are I think his ears are going to do what Rita's did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they haven't perked up at all. Not even a little bit. Who was it? Uh, I think it was Jenny. Jenny Larkin, who has the first pick. Mm -hmm. she, she, when I had headshots of everybody, the first time around, she was like, "What's wrong? What, what's up with Andy's ears? They're they're down." <laughs> but I mean, and then she goes, "But I mean, they're really down." <laughs> yeah, like, 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 um, but he. 
your sets a little bit. Yeah, and Zora's are set. Zora's and Peter's are set very high. Rita's are not set as high. Yeah, they shouldn't be high. They shouldn't be. They should be 45 degrees. I don't even know if we, I don't know. And you can tell what his would be if you just turn him upside down, hold your, hold his head. <laughs> no, turn him upside down and put his head on your hand. So, and then you can see. <laughs> that's that's, how that's what, is. that's, then that's correct. Yeah, that's how it That's correct. That's, yeah. I like mine too. He doesn't care about the upside down part. He cares about not putting him on the ground. Yeah. You can hold him upside down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good.